All right, in example 13, we have a fair coin that is tossed seven times, and the sequence of results is recorded. The first question just asks how many sequences of heads and tails are possible. So for part A, really, it's just a matter of using the multiplication principle, right? So we toss um, the first toss, how many different outcomes could we possibly have? There are two ways it could come out, right? We toss it uh, a second time, there's two ways it could come out. And we're going to do this seven times. So it's you have every time we toss the coin, there's two possible outcomes. So I'm just going to have two times two times two times two times two times two times two, right? So basically two to the seventh. And if I multiply that, I get 128 um, ways. So 20, 128 different outcomes, there, different sequences of heads and tails. All right, so for part B, we want to know how many possible outcomes result in exactly three heads. All right, well, let's think about what that would look like. All right, one possible outcome would be we get all heads and then um, on the first three tosses, and then we get four tails. Or we get, maybe we get a head and then a tail and then a head and then, or sorry, there's a tail and another head and a tail and then a head and then a tail. Okay. Either way, we have three heads and four uh, tails. And notice that it's just another letter arrangement problem. All right. So we have seven letters. So we're going to treat them all as if they're distinguishable at first. And then we're going to divide by the duplicate, so by the, by the number of ways to arrange the indistinguishable elements. And we have um, three factorial ways to arrange the H's and four factorial ways to arrange the T's in that word, that seven letter word, H, 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 T, 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 T. <laughs> okay. So now if you notice, that's, if I go back up here, that's exactly what we got for the previous example. You know, the, the numbers that I'm, I'm using, it's just seven factorial divided by three factorial times four factorial. So we're going to get another, the answer is going to be 35, but now it's, it's just 35 ways um, or different um, outcomes that we could get for our coin tosses. All right, so I will meet you in the next video.